Thanks for joining us today. I'm Gabe with Backwoods Pursuit. Today we're doing a game bag abuse test. Basically what we've done is we've gathered a bunch of the premium game bags on the market to find the best game bags, the strongest game bags for hunting. I'm personally looking for the best game bags for elk, but obviously applies for deer as well, just the different sizes. So we've put this together. We're gonna to be hanging these game bags from their, their cords that, that come with the bags or that are built in, sewn into the bags as well as, or the, the tabs if a, if a game bag is equipped with tabs. So we are looking for the strongest game bags basically with this test. We've put a, a ton of weight in them. We're gonna put as much weight as we can if fit in each bag until they fail, uh, hanging from the cord or those tabs. So should be a lot of fun to see how this comes how this turns out um, all these bags are boned out game bags so they some of them are pretty small so we're not going to get a ton of or as much weight in some as the others but we will put as much as we can possibly fit in there and try to make them fail if they do uh, obviously that we know what their max capacity is on weight if they don't then they've they've uh, done their job and they've held all the weight that we can fit in them with uh, with what we've got so Come along as we do that. We're going to jump over to the house now and hang it from a big tree we've got there. Uh, we always appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button for us. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram as well as check us out on our website, backwoodspursuit.com. Let's go get started. Okay, all right, we got about 70 pounds in here now. This is a tag bag. That's probably more than you're going to get in there as far as just just a sheer weight, sheer weight in a bag that saves. That's 80 pounds there. Starting to pull a little bit here. With the, at the opening, but it's not tearing or anything. So 80 pounds is good on the tag bag. So this is 90 pounds here. 90 pounds in the tag bag. Really no signs of it giving out. Yeah, not puncturing through anywhere. It's whole seams are holding up fine. Yeah, no, no failure points yet at 90 pounds. So and I don't know how much more we can get in there. All right, next up we have the Argali Ultralight Game Bags. We've got, starting with 80 pounds here. Seems to be holding up just fine. Seams are stretching a little. Okay, we added 30 pounds here to the Argali bag. So 110 Eight, pounds. 110 pounds. And it held up just fine. That's way more meat than you could ever get in that bag. All right, put another 30 in there, so 140. Something broke. Ah, the paracord broke. 140 pounds. Does it oh, I heard something pop. Yeah, let's take a look. Oh, we got some carrying on the carrying on the where the, that attaches. Got the materials tearing in the center there. And yeah, starting to tear on the bottom in here as well. But. All right, so we just got finished with the Argali bag. We got up to 140 pounds before it started tearing. See on the these, uh, each of these here are designed, on the sides here, they're designed to be where you hang your meat from. So once we got up to 140 pounds, you can see it started tearing out at the seams there. And this side was a little better. Um, we also had, let's see, middle of the bag here. You see it had a hole that formed there and another one there. That wasn't where the weight was. There wasn't a, a dumbbell right there. It was just a stretch point. Another one there. Um, another one there. So about 140 pounds. This, this had had it. The, the, the cord here broke off before we hit the 140 pound mark, but it, this is more designed to be to be hung from the uh, this, these little sewn in patches right here. So obviously you're never going to get 140 pounds of meat in this bag. So it more than more than holds what it, what you're ever going to hold in a bag this size. So it did more than its job, and uh, so pretty happy with that. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so this is the Ovis sacks. We've got 110 in here is where we're starting. It's so we tried to lift 110, the cord broke. That's what, that's what just blew up. So again, one, 110, the cord broke once already with. Okay. All right, it's all the way up. So it held this time. The bag itself seems to be holding up fine, but 
cord broke. Cord broke again. So on the Ovisect, the weak point is the cord. It broke twice at 110 pounds. That's not true paracord. It's just braided. Yeah. Braided. Braided cord. It's not a paracord. Yeah. The seam is breaking here. It's tearing there as well as over here. All right, so the Ovis sacks here, you put them through the ringer. Uh, main fail point was the, the, the paracord. It just, it broke at 110 pounds, held for a minute, but then broke. And uh, it just was not, not sufficient. Uh, there's multiple cuts like that throughout. Um, there is a bunch of them back here, just places where we didn't have uh, the material just didn't hold up there tore, tore there then on the bottom of the seam here the seams came apart as well you can hardly see that with the mud on there but yeah so they they didn't hold up quite as well not nearly as well as the argali bags um, but that was they are bigger so you could fit more weight in here if if, if they if they would hold so not something you'd want to put a ton of weight in as far as these but they would hold most of your you know, meat parts, you know, 60, 70, 80 pounds would probably do fine there, but I wouldn't put much more than that in these, in these bags. So let's grab the next ones here, the caribou bags. So it's caribou here, and it's 70 pounds. 70, 70 pounds. pounds that we got in there. Yeah, holding up fine at 70. Hanging it by the, the straps here that it's supposed to meant for. Stretching, but it's not tearing, so all good there. That little teeny bag, you're not going to get more than 40, 50 pounds of meat in that anyways. So. 95 pounds of this little teeny bag. It seems to be holding up fine. There's nothing, nothing showing at all as far as tears or anything there. I think it looks solid. Alright, the little caribou bag. Now at, added another 30 here, so 130. Is still holding up. Yeah, it's still unscathed at 130 pounds. It's impressive. That is impressive. For a, that's the caribou bag on those, especially on those, just on these eyelets here. Those eyelets, yeah. They're holding just. They're holding great. I'm really surprised. Those are strong bags. Oh, there you go. <laughs> they finally gave. They gave. Okay, so the caribou gear bag here, this is the, again the small meat parts bag. Finally at 130 pounds, the, the paracord gave out. Or it didn't break, it actually just came out from the seam on the inside here. We have now the 6 a.m. bag, again the meat parts bag. This is 95 pounds, 95 starting pounds. off with 95 pounds. A little, little puncture on the weight, on the corner of the weight, just from the probably the, from the dumbbell. The, the seams are stretching here. The cord's holding up great. What about that corner section where it meets? Where the corner where it meets right here, where the that's not. It's a little stretch, but not much at all there. It's holding up really well. 110 pounds. The plastic piece broke, but the bag itself, a little puncture wound on the bottom. Uh, otherwise. Still holding up great. The seams are all holding up fine. Stretching a little, but as you expect, yeah, it's it's still fine. Okay, yeah, all good. All right, so the 6 a.m. bag held up really well. We had a uh, had a lot of weight in there, way more than you could ever fit in this bag. Really, the only uh, signs of, of issues here were a little plastic piece broke, but that could be expected when you're hanging it from from the cord here, the paracord was fine. The seam here did just fine. I had no, no issue there. All the other seams were fine. A couple little places where the ripstop started to puncture a little bit. Uh, and then we had one hole that I didn't see initially on the bottom. Uh, but other than that, a couple little, little places where there was some small punctures, but all good otherwise. Let's uh, wrap it up here with all right, next up we have the Kuyu bag. This one has, is unique, it's got a zipper here. We're gonna start with 70 pounds, hanging it from 
the little poles here or the, the pieces of material that are look to be meant for that so that's what we'll do looks to be just fine the 70 uh, yeah no signs of wear seems seems are okay so let's throw some more in there all right added another 25 oh something tore yeah, the top pull tab starting to rip here when they added another 25, so we're at 95 pounds. 95 pounds now. Starting to rip out on us. Uh, let's add a little more. All right, it's the only way to get more weight on it is put it on the handles. There it goes. The poles broke out. Handles here were okay. The seams on the top here were to be blown out, but the, the pole that we're hanging from is what gave out first. All right, so the Kuyu bag just uh, met its maker here. We uh, what was our weight on that one? We had 100 and 110. 110. You can see. Look at that. The uh, both of the both of the places where we were attached to right here. Both both ripped, both out. ripped right out of the seam. There's one right there. Yeah, and they, you can. They're right on the ground over there now. So yeah, that that was a failure point. Otherwise the bag held up pretty well. Not a whole lot of other damage to it. But those were the poles that were designed to hang the meat or hang the bag from a tree. So that's where it failed uh, once we hit 110 pounds. So there you go. Uh, each of the bags I think performed really well as far as, you know, they, they held more weight than they could possibly fit in there if you're talking about boned out meat. They all, they all did well enough that way. Some definitely stood out as stronger, more durable um, than the others and they certainly held more weight uh, when you hung them from those, the cord and or the tab on those. So you make the decision what's going to work best for you. Those are the results that we came up with. The link's in the description for each of those products, each of those game bags that we tested. So go check those out if you'd like. But we sure appreciate you watching here today. We'll see you next time.